Are we ready? Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and I make solo travel vlogs exploring Europe, but today we are not traveling. We are diving into month three of the business check-in series where I share all things behind the scenes, analytics, revenue, favorites, goals, growth. So before we get started and we dive into this video, please hit that subscribe button below. It really helps to keep this channel growing, even hit the little bell for a notification. But without further ado, let's get started. Let's dive in. Section number one is about personal updates. It's a time to get to know me better. I want to get to know you better as well. So write in the comments below where you are watching from, where you're joining from. I love seeing that this is an international audience. So hello, wherever you are in the world today. Personal updates, what's happening in my life? Well, first of all, I'm still in Calgary and have been in my last two check-in videos. So you can see January and February below in the description but that is not for long because I have a huge update that I am traveling soon. And when I say soon, I mean soon. I am traveling in one week and I'm so excited. I'm headed back to Europe, locations to be released in later dates, or you can join me on Instagram and see a little bit more behind the scenes. I'm so excited to like accept the challenge of travel again, solo travel, meeting up with some international friends and uh, begin the journey again. I'm also still learning Portuguese, which is something I've mentioned in my last two videos. So that is holding strong. And I did get my cavities filled, which I mentioned in February's video that that cost me a lot of money and basically overtook all my savings instead of buying a new phone. So we took care of my health, we've got my cavities filled and that's all for personal updates content creation and brand growth. In my February video, I mentioned in my publishing schedule that I have 13 videos left to edit, and that is down to nine videos now, which actually included a bonus video that I released in the past two weeks of visiting Comino Island in Malta. And the reason why I released a bonus video, so actually I've edited 14, even though I said I had 13 to do, is because I reached 800 subscribers on YouTube, which, it's kind of insane. Thank you. Yeah, to see this community growing is really like heartwarming, inspiring, makes me want to keep going. It's like, oh my gosh, people like see the value I bring to travel. You know, my, my point of view on these trips and these locations, it's definitely motivation to continue these videos. 800 subscriber milestone, pretty stoked about it. I also have reached 2,900 followers on Instagram. And you might be thinking, Anna, it's just numbers. Like what's the big deal? To me, these are numbers in reflection of my work. So because I'm not working an hourly job with content creation, you don't work 10 hours, get paid 10 hours worth of work. These numbers are kind of my reflection and how I view I am being rewarded or it's kind of my performance review, could you say? So it's really exciting to kind of hit those two milestones. They are new to me and thank you for being here. If you're not on Instagram following me already, let's connect. Send me a message that you found me through this YouTube video. I would love it so much. That being said, I don't even know where this growth on Instagram is really coming from. I've had some reels that have done really successful in the past month, but definitely inconsistent. So not all my reels are reaching into that almost 15,000 views mark. Some are only getting 700 views, but somehow followers keep coming. It helps me identify that whatever I'm doing, I need to keep pursuing. So things are happening naturally and this kind of publishing schedule or rhythm that I've come into in the last couple of months seems to be seeing my fruits of my labor come to fruition, shall we call it now. I've also continued to launch my close friends membership. You can find a link to that in the description below. It's free for the next four people, which has been really fun to reconnect with you. Kind of a little bit more personal behind the scenes through my Instagram stories of what's going on in my life outside of the ooh la la, shall we call it. Join and let's become close friends. During the month of February, I was bringing these daily vlogs about every Wednesday. Once I invest in a little bit more equipment and something that makes filming those daily vlogs easier, I will intend to bring those back. And I think especially as I begin this travel journey, it will be really interesting to actually see like a behind the scenes of what's happening. That is section number two, content creation and brand growth. It has been a great month. I have seen fruits of my labor come to fruition. I've already said that, but it's been an awesome month and I hope to see this trajectory just keep going up. Let's move on to section number three, which is analytics. Welcome back to section number three. This is YouTube analytics. So views we can see I am up 
13,000 views or I have 13,000 views in the last 28 days. That's the time period we're looking at. 6.3 thousand more than usual, 6,300, which is great to see that this number is still increasing month over month. Watch time much higher than last month, which is great to see. And also 555, that must be some good luck or something. Subscribers is still way higher than usual, although I know in the last February check-in video, we were hitting at about 116. So my subscriber rate has slowed down a little bit in the month. I'm not exactly sure why that's happening. I thought it would actually be increasing. So I'm not disappointed. It's still up and it's 50 more than usual, which is fantastic. So we're gonna dive a little bit deeper in two subscribers. In the last 28 days, we can see that Monaco is still a huge video that is going up and has gained 24 subscribers. Interesting to see that my packing video, which I published April 26, that one got seven subscribers, which is kind of fun to see. And I just posted kind of my Malta content. So travel day seems to be interesting for people that subscribe. And if you are wondering, a subscription like this would come if someone's watching my video and right below hits the subscribe button. Like you're gonna do right now. So go below, put your mouse and hit that subscribe button. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> We're gonna go to subscription status now. And this one is a big one that I like to look at. So we can see in the last 28 days, 88.8% .8 of you were not subscribed. And this is the same number as February. From January to February, we saw this go down by about 2%. And I was hoping I would see the same thing, but we have not. And I am looking at you who have not yet subscribed to my channel. We're diving into traffic source, which in the last video, I said that I was experimenting with Pinterest, but was maybe gonna slow it down. I found that Pinterest wasn't converting and that was why I was going to step away from it. But the timeline of when my subscriber growth rate slowed down is when I stopped doing Pinterest. Correlated? Not sure. Nonetheless, I'm going to dive a little bit into Pinterest again, but not focus a lot of my attention there. And we'll see if it kind of aligns with subscribers coming back up. We're gonna continue with LinkedIn because if we go to external here, we can see that LinkedIn still plays a large factor in how people are finding my videos. So 20 views, Facebook is super high, Google search, natural SEO algorithm, Instagram, fantastic. I really push it there. And then we have some randoms and Facebook Messenger might just be like friends sending one another things. Um, LinkedIn, don't even know what pedalsearch.com is, so interesting. So that is YouTube analytics. Next, in the analytics realm of things, we're gonna dive into Instagram. So in Instagram, uh, in February's video, I had 2,862 followers, and as of today, we can see I have 2,903 followers. So quick math, that's one times four, like 41 followers? Hopefully my math is good. I swear math was my favorite subject in school. We're going to go into total accounts reached, so that number is a little bit lower than what the last 28 days showed. Like when we ran the numbers in the last 28 days in February, it was at 36,000. But we can see compared to the 30 days prior, it still says that it's 11% up, which is really exciting for me to see. Followers and non-followers, a huge proportion of that is still coming from non-followers, which is fantastic. It means that my content's getting out there, the reach is getting broadened, and more forks, more, <laughs> not forks, more folks are seeing my material. Reels is the main component of this and that does not so, so, That does not surprise me. Well, I love that stories is actually second because I've been working hard with that close friends membership to make this happen. Now we're gonna dive into accounts engaged with. So we can see that um, engagements are coming. Half of you are non-followers. So please follow me on Instagram as well. Let's make it happen. Real interactions is up 4%. I just love seeing green numbers. Post interactions are down, but I didn't post a lot of static or grid posts. So that's okay, you know, I'm fine with that. And I also feel like overall, you know, in interactions are going down with that. And then story interactions are going down a little bit. I find when I'm not traveling that my story interactions are less. Normally I also do TikTok analytics, but in the past 30 days, honestly, my TikTok has sat flat, which is a bit frustrating. I'm still uploading content there like Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. I get between 200 to 300 views on every video, the same people commenting, the same people liking. We will be covering TikTok analytics today, but that's it for analytics. We're taking you down to the ground because we are talking about goals. 
what are my goals in this next period of time? So in previous videos, we've touched base on travel, organization, and sponsorships. And let's recap those again. Travel is happening this time. Now the money is spent, you know, the, the trips are booked, we are going, and I'm so stoked. Organization wise, we're still utilizing Apple's free programs and systems. Um, I'm also an inbox zero type gal. And if you've never heard of that, that just basically means your inbox has zero emails. Why this works for my brain is because when I see emails in my inbox, I think, oh my goodness, I have so much to do. Whereas if I folder things when they're done, that means that that task or that conversation has come to completion and I can move on to the next email. I am like crisp and clean, so I love an inbox zero. Sponsorships is also a huge goal of mine. Obviously that would help to create income to help this travel going. In the last video, I decided that editing was more important and that still seems to ring true and stay the same. I also really want these relationships and these collaborations and working together to feel authentic and natural. And I think that comes with time as I find brands that really align with my values as a traveler, as a content creator, and just as a human in this world, those are the ones I'm going to focus on and try and reach out to. If someone was able to join the team of I, <laughs> which would turn us into a team. I have so much work for them to do because my idea ideas are just buzzing always. So anyway, sponsorships will happen, just not right now. That's about it for goals. Let's move on to the next section. We're on to section number five, which is favorites. And my three favorites for this month, that's a tongue twister, all are related to travel. My first favorite is this Align top. This is from Lululemon. It is the most comfortable top to wear and it's basically like a bra and a tank top in one. You can see it goes just above my belly button and I love because it's long enough to kind of be a crop top, but if you wear high-waisted pants that it can utilize as a tank top. I have one in black, one in this kind of mustard yellow color. I am 100% taking these on my next trip. I took them to Portugal with me and I wore them all the time. I think they're gonna save me space in my suitcase because I won't be packing bras and tank tops separately and these can Multi-use is one. They're great for underneath sweaters as well. They're nice and flat and tight, but they do have this kind of elastic waistband. These are line tank tops and a link is in my description below. Number two is a fanny pack. This is a fanny pack I got this summer actually at a garage sale for $1. I'm pretty proud of myself on that. It's quite large. I think is really useful and smart for travel. So I will for sure be taking this. I'm also a huge fan of the Lululemon Everyday Belt Bag. So I'll link that below in my description since this bad boy, don't know where it came from. I also will wear this with me on the plane and I think that's important to talk about. So when I go to the washroom, I actually bring this with me. It's basically got everything in there. Should someone decide to steal my backpack on a plane, which I don't know where you would take it, everything is inside there that I need. The last favorite on my list is from the brand Super Zero. It is a body balm bar. I haven't touched a lot about this brand, but I have been using their shampoo bars for about a year and a half, two years now. You can actually use the code ANNA15 for 15% off. But this is one of their newer products. I'm not good at those like ASMR. <laughs> videos and all it is is like a body bomb bar what i'm thinking i'm gonna really like this about is i'm always craving lotion and cream when i'm traveling for skin even in humid climates after putting on so much sunscreen i find my skin to be quite irritated and really craving some basic moisture but the cool thing is about this is you're not packing a liquid so all you do is warm it up in your hands a little bit and then you basically rub it on and it makes your skin so smooth you can't quite, it doesn't have that same like lotion texture, but you can rub it in a little bit. I love it. I'm so excited to bring it with me. I think that this ball will last me my two and a half months trip. I got this in the scent that's the Relax Body Balm. So it definitely has quite a strong scent if you're someone who's sensitive to scents, maybe choose a different one. Oh, I'm just, I think it's so creative and so smart. And then I'll have extra room in my liquids bag for other things. Those are my three favorites. To touch base on my favorite books for the month, I didn't read at all. I don't know why, but I didn't. Like, I don't know what was happening. I just did not read at all in the last 30 days since our February business check-in video. So no updates there. I am bringing my Kindle with me traveling. I hope to reignite the reading bug and hopefully I'll have some more books to report in the April business check-in video. But that's it for favorites.
Last section, everyone's favorite, revenue. Let's talk about it. I love this section because I think it's important to disclose and share that this is not a multi-million dollar business and one day it takes effort and time and I don't think that is talked about enough in the content creation space. How much revenue did I make? More than January, more than February. We're looking at my earn page here. And in February at 708 subscribers, we're up to 809 as of this moment right now, right here. That's exciting, 100 in a month. In February, we had 3,019 hours, public watch hours. And to see that this mark is above 3,500 is so exciting. 500 more watch hours. We are in that last, what's well, not a quarter. It's like the last eight. I never thought I'd be here. So it's, um, actually I did think I'd be here. I had confidence in myself, but I just knew it was gonna take a lot of effort. And I, I think I should share, I had confidence in myself, I would be here, so I'm proud of myself. In terms of revenue, I did make money from affiliates. That was around $89, I got paid out. Gosh, it's been like almost two years worth of affiliates. So this is not a payment I'm gonna be expecting in the next couple of months but we will manifest that I will be getting this payment in the next couple of months. Um, we made $19 from an ambassador program I'm, I'm a part of. Buy me a coffee was $76. Thank you so much to those folks. $184 in February, which was a lot more than um, my previous video, which was $22. Now I will share $22 was kind of this awkward time period I was reporting on. So now what I'm gonna to choose to do is we're filming a marked business check-in. I'm recapping February, the month of February's income. Close Friends membership had eight left. Now we're down to four. So people get your spots, get in there for free. That is it for revenue. Pretty exciting that I finally get to share in part three of this business check-in series growth in this department. And that is thanks to you. So thank you so much. That's it. My room is now officially a mess. We're kind of going off style here to finish this vlog. It's not even a vlog. I always think it's a vlog. If you like this video, comment below what you liked about it. Thank you for being here so much. Hit that subscribe button button below if you have not already. Like this video, share it with a friend. If 809 people shared it with one friend, like your dentist, anyone, I'd have 1600 subscribers, which is crazy. Please share it with one friend. That would be fantastic. Have a great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next one. And what you want to know, no. We are diving into right, uh, uh, to, con con to continue content creation and brand mo- But we have not. I'm in focus, This is three, two, one. We're getting a little bit more intimate and comfy. And for March, I don't know when I have to do this, okay. So in total, we made 804. No, we did not make that much.